Hey guys, Tony Semin out here from Real World Tactical and you are on my YouTube channel and today I have a special guest for you, Philip Posilek, the owner and CEO of Hazard 4 California. As you guys know, I run that shit all the time, the best goddamn bags there are on the market today, best quality. All right, so we're today gonna go into detail on some of the new stuff they got coming out for 2017, so stay tuned. Tell me a little bit about what you got coming out for 2017. I know you got a ton of great stuff, man. I want to hear. I want to hear all about it. Yeah, uh, it's a lot of things: new products, new approach, new marketing, and uh, new exhibits. So as you can see, we've got as our main uh, mascot uh, Tony here on the walls. We got a video screen with one of your your videos going, where you're running some of our, our gear, and uh, that's uh, part of our real promotion to get the the uh, the information about the gear out there. It's no good to make really cool, innovative stuff if it's going to be under a rock. Correct. So we're, we're really working with uh, with guys like you as uh, the real bona fide operators who have uh, tried the, the, the gear and they've done the life and they know what uh, what's required for it to, to function well and to get feedback, of course, for new developments, you know, those pouches we were talking about, yeah, other things that are going to be, be rolling out uh, yeah, yeah. throughout the year. So, so thanks a lot for working uh, with us and uh, we'll be out to your place and shooting more videos, doing some more interactive awesome. testing. We'll be running some of your courses and getting people turned on to real world tactical, real world tactics and the real physical training as opposed to just standing online and shooting a gun. Um, really looking forward to that in awesome. 2017. All right, and we'll run good. you guys through some of the, some of the details. All right, let's go into the boat. details. Let's walk and let's, uh, let's go into the details of, of each bag and, and other new stuff. Sounds great. All right, cool. All right, so um, one of the packs we've always been uh, famous for is this line of evac packs, which are the sling packs that um, can go from your back to your front. You guys probably all know them pretty well. They've got the, the thermoform back and the the dividable compartments, but um, we sort of updated them for 2017 and we're calling them the 2017 models. And um, they're right here. So this would be the uh, Plan B 2017. And uh, this one here is the Rocket 2017. And the Rocket 2017 is here. That's the Classic. Now the Classics are still gonna be sold. The price is gonna be dropping and you guys can still get them. They're soft, they're the, the one that you're used to. But now the ones with the uh, 2017 features are going to be available, so I'm just going to run through what uh, what that is. So the um, the 2017s have these shells that we've sort of started incorporating into some of the backpacks and uh, into some other items that we have. Now the, even these small narrow bags are going to be getting them, and the shells have these uh, hardware um, attachment points here, which uh, even legacy bags have. They're called the uh, hard point system, and in the uh, old days they were there mainly for for drainage and for aeration. But uh, currently, uh, I'm going to show you guys in a second how that inter interfaces with our new patented uh, hardware system. Now, we've moved the Velcro that was up here, down here, made it two or three times bigger. And we've also added the uh, laser cut molly for this position to uh, allow smaller pouches to be uh, locked on. Now, that's the, um, the uh, one without the pockets, the narrower one. It has the compression straps and the one with the two built-in pockets without the compression straps so it's easier to get into is also available and that's the the rocket now um, for a long time people have liked these sling packs but they've been asking us to do a, a regular sort of a backpack version of them so we've obliged and uh, that's the model we have over here and that's uh, called the the plan c because um, we couldn't come up with a better name so it's basically the same pack it has the shell has the narrow form factor um, but it has two straps and a slightly redesigned back as well uh, that has the uh, thermoform construction and it has the uh, programmed flex and aeration and it's actually uh, looks the same but it's a little bit wider overall so it allows for storage of uh, some uh, um, tablet models that weren't uh, capable of really going into the, the the plan B or the rocket before so um, these uh, could be had from hazard4.com so, so check them out now I promised to explain how this hardware system works on these shells and I'm gonna do that on a product that really demonstrates it well and that's over here this product here is uh, called our pillbox uh, pack and it's brand new being shown at the at the show here and uh, we wanted to do sort of a revolutionary pack to show off our capability and uh, did something really different and that we took the hard shell construction that we're used to putting on some of the smaller packs and made the entire pack pretty much out of that hard shell. And uh, for a few years, we wanted to roll these out and some brother products to it, but the problem was always, how do you make this modular? When you've got a, a, a piece that's soft and you can have molly, you can have Velcro, you can have pockets, 
you can accessorize this with a shell, how do you do it? So we came up with this idea of embedding areas that could have hardware that could be mounted to them and we could have a modular system on it. So uh, right now, the grommet holes that are coming from our older products are filled on this product with hardware and this hardware can be a number of different things. It's called the hardpoint system, it's a patent that we have and in this case we've got these LDLs which are light duty loops and they'll hold 50 pounds. The real trick was making them in such a way that they wouldn't dig up a good table or paint work on a car or leather seats and what we did is we actually did a rubber piece as opposed to a plastic or a metal and um, some of the uses you could have for these would be either to not have them at all, have them there as plugs for keeping water out, or you could attach beaners, you can attach flashlights, or zigzag across some bungee cord or some paracord and hold down like a jacket or something. Or in this case, we have some prototype lights that you could have for signaling. These could be infrared as well and different patterns for military use that could be seen with friendly forces night vision uh, equipment. And uh, this shape and uh, construction is also really good for use on motorcycles or any sort of uh, open air vehicles for the aerodynamics. Air and that's also uh, an area in which the uh, signal lights were sort of inspired by, that you can have signals low and high. And as you're motorcycling, you can have them uh, really be, be something that's visible in, uh, in traffic. Now this bag we uh, ostensibly designate as a photo pack, and I'll show you how that comes into play. So the shell obviously is quite protective and it'll protect anything um, that needs it, like a laptop in this case. So we've got a laptop compartment here. It's well lined and padded. Also this could be used for a CCW or something else with some of our holsters that go onto the, the Velcro. We have some administration uh, uh, areas right here. We've got some molly areas here. There's also a gusset system that could hold all of this up in position if we didn't want it to fillet open. We're just doing this because it's easier to show. And in here we can show how the hard point system actually looks on the inside. So usually we have these little covers that cover the empty holes. Here's some raw hardware that we just have for demonstration. But in real use, the hardware is actually hidden behind these little plugs here. And this is also very soft, so it won't hurt cameras, it won't hear other, hurt other gear, and it won't hurt your hands because um, it's, it's flexible. And these pieces, and these pieces, or any other pieces, can be interchangeable. So an outer light could become an inner light to light up your pack or our retractable cable wallets and retractors for flashlights, etc., could be run from these points and it can go spring back into your pack. Now the uh, photo portion comes in here. We've got a zip away panel and behind it we've got a fully customizable movable divider system into which you could put uh, lenses and other things. And these days the uh, mirrorless systems are becoming really, really popular uh, with the A7S, Sony, the Sony A6500, the GH4, GH5, from Panasonic, they're all really good cameras and they're small. So you could fit a body, a few lenses which are really small. Now you could fit a Mavic Pro drone, batteries, um, uh, spare blades for the helicopters, um, and all of it can go into a, a package like this, be nicely protected, and have a whole studio pretty much that runs inside of a pack, while of course still having the uh, tactical colors and features and durability. Um, we can have external panels that are going to be coming out for this that are going to attach into the hardware. You can put a helmet, you can put a molly panel with Velcro and keep building upon this. This pack has a removable uh, buckle belt that is attached here. And it's actually a movable system so you can remove it easily. Or move it up and down depending on where your waist is. And then this is another patented piece that's slowly going to be rolled out to a lot of our products, especially our sling products. It's this um, locking buckle. Now for uh, years there's only been one or two available locking buckles that use a little locking piece that can easily become foul, that can easily not work well if it's not molded properly at the factory. So we completely redesigned a buckle of our own, something that could bear our logo. We put double adjustments on the left and right so you can actually use it for a belt, like a police belt. But the biggest uh, factor about it is the locking mechanism, which is the swing arm here. It keeps the buckles from, from going. It's very easy to identify whether it's locked or it's unlocked. And this piece here can be exchanged and replaced in case it breaks or in case it gets, uh, gets fouled. Or you can even change the colors, let's say to a black one. So this way the buckle's locked and this way the buckle is unlocked. And if the switch happens to be somewhere in the middle or if it's locked, when the buckle is inserted, it actually goes and unlocks by itself. That's part of the, the patent we have on that. So you should see that coming out soon in security belts for 
uh, police loadouts and in our slings. And in a sling especially, it's very important because if you've got a sling that you're wearing and you uh, have that buckle drop, your stuff goes to the ground. So you want to make sure you have a real positive uh, system on there. And then meanwhile, these pieces here will come in various colors. Uh, we can come over here and see it in a different guise on this photo sling that we have. Uh, here it is in black with an orange piece. This is one of our this is one of our smaller photo uh, slings. It's called the Freelance. It also comes from front to back. It opens into a bin style so that if you're wearing it on your chest, you can load your lenses, you can load your cameras. Again, it's built a little bit smaller for like the mirrorless systems that we have, but it'll work with smaller DSLRs as well. It has the shell. The shell opens, it's lined inside, and then there again we see the system. Half of it has been plugged with the little covers and the other is showing the screws to put it together and that system just works with a regular Phillips screwdriver so that's a good spot to put things like like batteries things that are breakable you can open it from this end and have a separate section for a sandwich or some other uh, piece of gear like a flash or you can actually tear out this section and go all the way through and maybe you have a camera with a longer telephoto lens and this bag opens on the back and it'll take a smaller tablet or a CCW a handgun with a holster and again, it's padded and quilted like we're known for. It has the stabilizer strap and has a handle here. Now, the last thing I'll show you, it's kind of a brother to the uh, backpack, to the pillbox. It's obviously a rolling luggage. It has a collapsible handle, so we made the size of this to fit in an overhead bin under TSA uh, requirements. Of course, it has all the tough features, the Cordura construction, the heavy handle, side, back, really well rolling wheels and a chassis, but it's a photo bag. So it's kind of a first of its kind that it's actually a rolling case that can take a lot of weight in a lot of situations. The floors that people are shooting on, whether it's a convention like this or a wedding or a government convention, it's actually done on carpets, on concrete. So why not roll the gear as opposed to always having it on the shoulder? So we've got a nice compartment here. It's hard all around for, again, lenses, small drones, and cameras. This section here has a full laptop compartment and section for magazines, maybe portfolio material, other things like that. And the shell, similar to what we have on the smaller shells and on the pillbox. We've got the hardware shown on a couple of positions here, a couple of different styles that could be laced or attached in, in different uh, configurations. And a good organizer on this side. Again, all the shells are always lined with this fuzzy material so that we can attach different patches and other accessories. And this will be coming out soon here in 2017. You have a nice piece that you can roll away and just have the camera up here. So that's sort of a, a summary of most of the major things that we really wanted to show as far as the photography type um, equipment and really multi-use things. And then one other one that's been really um, asked for for a while from our customer base is having some of our cases like um, this guitar case that we've made in the past, which was kind of cool, it, it disguised your, your rifle, but it was always done in full Cordura, it had Molly, had Velcro on it, and we wanted to make something that was less obvious. So here we have the guitar case version, and here we have an even smaller case that's actually built like a tennis racket. Uh, we have no external Molly, no external Velcro, and uh, the material itself is also much smoother, and we have all this reflective or, uh, or more reflective type piping here to really make it look like a sport product. But meanwhile, inside, it opens up and it has a full tie down for a rifle. It's nicely padded. The tip where the rifle's muzzle would go, where it might be a little bit hot or it might be uh, pointy, where it won't tear the bag up. We've got a nice resistant rubber patch that can be put in there. And then the front of the bag opens up and has a full organizer for magazine pouches, for pistols to be attached, and some flat pockets on the outside. Um, so that's going to be coming out real soon. And in a similar vein, the last thing I'll show you guys here is this Gray Man line. So these packs are versions of packs like this one. It's the same bag, same patterning, but they're less conspicuous. So they don't have the Cordura, they don't have Molly, they don't have external Velcro. They're made in these gray materials. They're actually less expensive, they're lighter, and they would blend in really well with a suit. It's not even just a gray material but it's a material that has a texture to it and it looks like something like more of like a suit. Uh, meanwhile, if you do want to still put some ID or put some uh, patches, 
you can have a removable section that has Velcro underneath. A police ID could be put under, or if it's for a convention or something, a bunch of morale patches could go there. Meanwhile, the interiors of all these bags are the same as the ones you're used to. It has the, the coyote brown interior, has dividers like a rifle splitter here for taking down an M4 rifle, let's say, and putting two uppers and a lower, or, or full, uh, putting a full SBR inside. And uh, these have got, been getting really a lot of attention at the show. And we've got a full collection that's going to be coming out. Everything from our patrol pack that's been transformed to our plan B to this takedown bag and more. We don't even use the Hazard 4 logo on these. We use the Civilian Lab logo so that it doesn't tip anybody off to uh, what the brand is. So that's it. Those are like some of the, the biggest products we have. Of course, we've got all the legacy products and a lot more. Uh, come to Hazard4.com and check them out. This is uh, Philip from uh, Hazard 4 at SHOT Show 2017. All right, guys, so you saw uh, Philip pretty much went through a couple of the bags to show you some of the new stuff for 2017. Also, for 2017, I'm coming out with my signature range bag. It's going to be a badass bag, and it's going to have all the toys that you need on it to, to be able to go to the range, to have on top of you, uh, all the mags, everything you name it. It's going to have it there, okay? So, uh, I hope you like the show. Philip. it was a pleasure uh, being here with you. We're definitely going to do a lot of work together in the future, um, and it was great, uh, great spending time. you have any last words? Yeah, thanks so much for coming on board. Thanks for providing some of the, the video stuff for the big uh, screens and introducing everybody to what you do with Real World Tactical. Awesome, and, uh, awesome to have you on board. Yeah, bro. Right. Glad to be on board, man. It was a pleasure. All right. All right, guys, make sure you like, subscribe. Any comments, any questions, all right, the link, the link for Hazard 4 California is going to be on the bottom here. Go there, and if you want a bag, go purchase it, man.